Good day, dear colleagues. My name is uh, Galkin Konstantin. I am from Vladivostok, from uh, Institute of Automation and Control Processes, so Far Eastern Branch, Russian Academy of Science, uh, located in Vladivostok. Uh, my report uh, about silicon guitar structures is embedded semiconductor silicide nanodots. Where is Vladivostok? Uh, it's uh, not, 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 uh, it's very close to Japan, uh, North Korea, South Korea, and also uh, from China, Vladivostok in here. Uh, between Vladivostok and Moscow, seven hours. And now in uh, my city, uh, more than uh, 10 p.m. And people uh, maybe start to sleep. And uh, some picture from our beautiful city. Uh, maybe some people know, maybe not. Uh, in uh, last September, uh, other Pacific Economic Congress uh, be held in Vladivostok. Held in Vladivostok. Uh, okay, about our organization. Uh, our institute uh, established in uh, 1st June uh, 1971. It's, uh, we have uh, uh, four uh, main research directions. The problem of mechanics, power engineering and control processes. Uh, the second direction, uh, laser physics and optical methods of research in the condensed media and technical object. Uh, third, uh, problems of informatics and information technology. And fourth, physics of low dimensional nanostructure and uh, technology and uh, diagnostics. Uh, I work in uh, second direction in our institute. Uh, I am a uh, uh, researcher, uh, also scientific staff. Uh, what about what I talk? I talk about uh, why we uh, use uh, this uh, Semiconductor silicide uh, nanoguitar structure, and, uh, how we form, uh, form this uh, nanoguitar structure, and uh, some results. Uh, why a silicon guitar structure with embedded uh, silicide inside silicon matrix like uh, chromium disilicide, iron disilicide, calcium silicide, manganese silicide, and magnesium silicide? Uh, for this silicide, it is known that iron disilicide is a uh, uh, direct uh, band gap semiconductor with uh, uh, band gap uh, near 1.5, 1.6 micron wavelength. And we can uh, prepare some device which emit uh, light in this region. Uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, calcium silicide, manganese silicide, magnesium silicide, and chromium disilicide, it's uh, uh, indirect uh, semiconductor. And uh, uh, also with uh, iron disilicide, we can uh, uh, make some uh, uh, devices for thermoelectric converters, uh, maybe with high efficiency and small sizes. And also we can increase, uh, if we uh, embedded uh, this silicide uh, inside silicon matrix, we hope that we uh, increase uh, the efficiency of uh, uh, con con uh, optical conversion from uh, uh, optical to electrical signal. What are the main methods of creation of silicide? The first method is uh, ion implantation. And uh, the second method is uh, reactive deposition epitaxy in uh, ultra high vacuum uh, of uh, silicides, uh, and after that, molecular beam epitaxy of silicon layer. But uh, if we uh, use the first method, ion implantation, it's uh, not, not, not so difficult to make some uh, thin or thick uh, layer, ma uh, ma maximum up to one or two microns. But uh, after ion implantation, we need uh, long uh, uh, high temperature annealing at very uh, high temperature for silicon. And some uh, degradation processes uh, we can obtain in uh, this structure. And if we use uh, molecular beam epitaxy, we uh, can grow at low temperature also uh, with, without high uh, annealing. Uh, but uh, in, uh, now, in, 
UHV chamber, uh, our, uh, we, uh, we can grow uh, one micron uh, layer, uh, about eight or ten house. It's very long time for uh, creation of uh, GTR structures. And uh, if you use uh, molecular beam epitaxy, uh, we can grow a uh, structure without uh, dislocation, without uh, some uh, and, and, and other defects. What, uh, experiment equipment. Uh, we have uh, many uh, equipment with uh, ultra high vacuum, uh, uh, minus 10 minus power minus 10 tor. Uh, equipped with uh, some different uh, uh, methods like uh, AG electron spectroscopy, uh, uh, also uh, low energy electron diffraction, some another chamber with uh, uh, high uh, energy electron diffraction with some uh, electrical measurement, uh, also some another chamber uh, in investigation. Uh, and after uh, unloading this the sample uh, after the chamber, we investigated firstly uh, topography of the sample, uh, optical properties using uh, the uh, uh, sp uh, spectrophotometer, uh, UV with spectrophotometer, also we have uh, infrared spectrophotometer, but not on this uh, chamber, and uh, investigate some uh, electrical properties, some, oh, oh no, I'm sorry, uh, some electrical properties, some optical properties using uh, uh, optical cryostat down to 10 Kelvin. Uh, how we uh, make the, our uh, Samples. At firstly, in uh, ultra high vacuum, we, we, we clean silicon uh, substrate. After that, we uh, evaporate, uh, deposit, we deposit our uh, uh, metals on uh, atomic clean surface. It's not uh, means that uh, chromium, magnesium, ma manganese, uh, calcium in one. It's mean, it's mean that maybe some uh, samples is chromic, some is magnesium. It's, uh, and after that, we, uh, we can anneal this uh, uh, short, uh, thin layer of uh, metal, metallic layer. Or uh, maybe we evaporate on room temperature or sometime at uh, high temperature. Then we evaporate silicon. If we need uh, multi-layer structure, we repeat uh, this procedure many times. Uh, okay, uh, some, some uh, about iron disilicide. Uh, we use two me methodics uh, for creation uh, iron disilicide nanodots uh, with uh, uh, at room temperature and then annealed, or at uh, some temperature and annealed at low temperature and then uh, evaporate silicon. What we obtain? Uh, by atomic force microscopy images, we see that uh, we have very smooth uh, surface with uh, not so big roughness uh, with some dots. But by low energy electron diffraction picture, we see that uh, this uh, uh, layer, silicon layer has uh, not, not, not so bad quality. It means we see uh, on lead picture dots, it means that uh, it's an uh, epitaxial layer. Uh, a sample A for uh, direction 0, 1, 0, 0, B for another direction samples. Uh, but in second method, we, we also see the same re results, uh, also the not so bad uh, roughness. Uh, but uh, what different between the first method and second method? On the silicon 100 surface, in, by first method, we uh, uh, can obtain uh, some uh, continuous distribution of uh, iron disilicide uh, uh, inside silicon matrix, but uh, this also C100. C but by second method, we uh, have not uh, continuous distribution by layers but we also obtain some dislocation. 
Uh, and uh, if we use uh, silicon 111, we also see some dislocation and uh, also some continuous distribution. And uh, if we you, uh, you can see that uh, our sample uh, did not have some uh, disorientation between uh, elastically matched between uh, silicon matrix and silicide some silicide. Also with the smaller sizes, uh, this is a high-resolution high, high uh, transmitter electron microscopy pictures. And uh, all, we also uh, investigate uh, uh, Raman spectra, and in Raman spectra we uh, see that uh, some contribution from iron disilicide uh, we obtain. It means that uh, uh, we said that uh, iron disilicide uh, located in silicon matrix. Uh, this investigation we obtained before using high uh, resolution uh, transmitter electron microscopy. And uh, by optical uh, properties we obtain uh, the band gap of the, uh, our uh, iron disilicide. Uh, also, we uh, investigate photolumine photoluminescence and obtained uh, w w w w very uh, wide uh, peak uh, photoluminescence peaks uh, at uh, 1.5 microns. By but dif different samples uh, has dif different uh, spectra. Uh, and. Uh, what conclusions about uh, iron disilicide? Interface between layer are absent, nanocrystal litters are uniformly distributed in silicon matrix. And we also see uh, uh, photoluminescence, but unfortunately at very low temperature, it's uh, at helium temperature. When we increase uh, temperature up to uh, nitrogen, uh, up to 70 Kelvin, uh, the signal uh, unfortunately lost. Uh, and also for electroluminescence, we obtain, uh, it's uh, at room temperature, electroluminescence, we obtain also very wide uh, spectra. Uh, unfortunately, we did not understand why so very uh, wide spectra. Maybe we have distribution uh, between our uh, uh, silicide, from smaller silicide to bigger silicide, and therefore we have some distribution between uh, energy gap. Size, or? size, size, size. I mean size between. Uh, may, uh, we, we think that uh, very, sh very wide uh, spectra, maybe uh, we obtain because we have uh, some distribution in size distribution, uh, of course. Uh, about chromium disilicide, we also can uh, embed it, uh, chromium disilicide in silicon in uh, epitaxial silicon matrix uh, with very good epitaxial layer. Uh, of course, uh, when we increase number of layers, also roughness uh, not so big increase. And by high resolution time, we also obtain uh, uh, some elastically embedded in silicon matrix of chromium disilicide with some distribution, uh, not, not, not so big. And if uh, cross section term, uh, we obtain some. Uh, uh, some uh, channel between uh, old position of chromium disilicide uh, and new positions. And uh, we, we think that uh, during the silicon growth, our silicide uh, has a liquid phase and uh, some uh, un, um, Nano channel, yes, in liquid phase. Unfortunately, I work in another, not not in this chromium disilicide, uh, and therefore I can't uh, normally uh, explain uh, this uh, phenomena. Unfortunately, uh, also s s some uh, multi-layer structure. Yes, and uh, about uh, my uh, work, uh, I work with uh, uh, magnesium, uh, magnesium silicide. At firstly, we uh, uh, evaporate uh, magnesium layers and anneal this layer to obtain uh, some uh, 
uh, dots, not so dots because size 60, 80 nanometers uh, with height uh, 3, 6 nanometers and uh, not, so, not, not so big density uh, uh, 10 power 9 centimeters minus 2. And, uh, one, one. and then uh, after that, uh, as the ferrovential magnesium island, we operate silicon. Unfortunately, we can't uh, increase the temperature of uh, evaporation silicon higher than 150 degrees C because uh, uh, at uh, 200 degrees C, silicon starts to uh, dissolve from the uh, uh, surface and uh, silicide uh, distort and magnesium uh, dissolve. And uh, we propose the, the new method of uh, doping of uh, islands. At firstly, we evaporate very small si thickness of uh, argentum or stibium, uh, one monolayer, about one monolayer, and then evaporate magnesium silicide. Uh, why? Uh, at firstly, we, we, we evaporate doping material and then only evaporate uh, silicide material. It's known that uh, magnesium, like uh, chromium, uh, iron, calcium, manganese, it's uh, so materials which uh, uh, at firstly come to uh, surface, start uh, uh, immediately to react and go to the under the layer. There we have a mixed layer between uh, uh, doping layer and silicide layer, and then after annealing, we, uh, our doping atom uh, must be in uh, uh, silicide. And after that, we also evaporate silicon. Uh, what we see is that uh, uh, using uh, compared doping samples and uh, non-doping samples and doping samples, we see that uh, with doping uh, uh, roughness of the samples decrease uh, and it's very good uh, because uh, we can grow uh, on smooth, uh, uh, not other milk smooth, but smooth uh, surface. Mm -hmm. But uh, by uh, optical data, uh, crystal quality of uh, silicon layer decreases if we use uh, doping. I compare with non doping sample. Also, with increasing of the number of layers, uh, uh, we have uh, the degradation of uh, silicon top, la top uh, layers. Uh, also, on uh, N-type silicon, the same situation. Uh, uh, and uh, we obtain uh, for low uh, the temperature uh, uh, resistance of the samples and uh, we propose that uh, uh, our uh, uh, magnesium silicide has a uh, short uh, band gap uh, compared with silicon there we think that uh, our carriers uh, drop to from magnesium silicide drop to silicon matrix and uh, go, uh, Oh, так. Uh, uh, I forgot. Uh, no, 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 not speak Russian. It's not not so good to our colleagues if I start to speak Russian. Uh, and show to the silicon layer, and we see that if you have this uh, substrate uh, uh, resistance for substrate uh, with. Uh, without magnesium silicide. But if we uh, include magnesium silicide, uh, uh, resistance of this uh, system uh, it's uh, uh, in 10 times uh, lower than we think that uh, if resistance is 10 times lower, then uh, conductivity. Uh, may, uh, maybe, unfortunately, uh, it's uh, two probes, only two, two probes. Uh, it's not four probes measurement. Uh, maybe some uh, uh, mistakes in uh, with using two probes methods. But uh, when we use uh, N-type silicon, we see that uh, if we include uh, uh, layer of uh, uh, 
uh, magnesium silicide resistance decrease, uh, decrease uh, resistance increases uh, in uh, ten types. But if we uh, use doping of bistibium uh, resistant back uh, to the no normal, uh, why uh, this uh, situation? Uh, if we use uh, molecular beam epitaxy, usually magnesium silicide is P type. It's not dependent on uh, uh, what type of uh, substrate we use. Uh, uh, but in literature now, if we use. Uh, uh, вот сейчас я точно скажу по, по русски порошковую металлургию, uh, powder, powder, powder metallurgy, uh, unfortunately, usually magnesium silicide is N type. Uh, it's uh, diff difficult between. Uh, a preparation and uh, also we obtain thermoelectrical properties uh, for p type uh, incre uh, increasing of uh, number of the magnesium silicide layer uh, we, we obtained it maybe it's very high for this uh, 700 microvolts per kern maybe it's very high and maybe some mistakes Maybe, but uh, compared with uh, the silicon uh, substrate on which we grow the sample, it's uh, one moment. One, uh, yes, uh, for for p-type silicon, 19 microvolts for two layer and five layer, 300 microvolts in more than 10 types increasing in room temperature, and we try to calculate power factor and also power factor in uh, 10 power 4 higher than for silicon substrate. For N-type, uh, unfortunately, magnesium silicide uh, uh, it's not so good uh, materials for increasing in N-type silicon uh, matrix because uh, magnesium silicide has P-type conductivity. And uh, uh, therefore we obtain decreasing of um, uh, conductivity with using uh, magnesium silicide. Uh, possible application, uh, it's uh, thermoelectric converters, we work in this uh, way. Uh, near infrared photodiodes, uh, uh, I, we, we have new data about uh, increasing of the silicon uh, in, um, shift of the edge of silicon photodiodes with embedded uh, silicide nanodots inside this, but it's very, no, very new data, uh, about two weeks, and uh, I hear about this data, but I, unfortunately I didn't have to, to show to you. And uh, I show the light emitted diets uh, for iron disilicide, but unfortunately efficiency of these uh, diets uh, now it's very low. And uh, my, I want to say the thanks, and I am grateful to my collaboration. It's uh, our uh, laboratory, and uh, we also work together with uh, Institute of uh, Solid State ah, Semiconductor Physics, Siberian uh, branch of Russian Academy of Science, and also with uh, colleagues from Hungary Academy of Science. Thank you. Okay, so let's thank our speaker. Please open the slide number 29. Uh, 29. 29. Ah, 29. 29 or maybe 28. Yes, yes. Uh, this is the AZ doping of your semiconductor materials. What is the role of the AZ? Is the, what is the, actually the state of AZ? Is the ionic AZ plus or AZ zero or AZ two plus? Uh, if it's possible, slowly and repeat uh, question. I was just asking about the, what is the state of aging? State uh, aging? Uh, uh, silver is ionic, AG plus? Uh, yes. Or AG zero or AG two plus? Unfortunately, I don't know because I think that uh, one plus or two plus, but in magnesium silicide, uh, if uh, 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 Argentum uh, uh, atoms uh, stay in magnesium position, it doesn't doping. Now because uh, the reflection is too much depends on the AG ion. 
Unfortunately, I didn't know what uh, type of aging in uh, Argentum in this system, but uh, I show that uh, 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 with doping uh, of uh, a very small quantity of doping, but uh, we obtain a very high increasing in. Uh, yes, yes. My, my, Maybe it's uh, doping uh, not only silicide, maybe also silicon has yeah. doping, but uh, conductivity is increasing. Okay. Any questions? Yes, excuse me, in Argentum, uh, the uh, aging Reflectance or, or, or in reflectance and uh, in other experiments? Ah, for photoluminescence, it's repeated experiments, of course. Uh, in reflectance, uh, we did not uh, repeat experiments because uh, when we start investigate, uh, we use uh, um, in the uh, visible and ultraviolet region, we use uh, Hitachi with uh, integrating sphere and uh, Error uh, about uh, 0 0.001 percent. Okay. It's very small uh, error, and therefore I only one. Excuse me. We speak not about the measurement. Mm -hmm. We speak about the uh, different properties from different samples. Ah, diff unfortunately, it is only one sample. Only one. Only one sample. But I you know the uh, all this work uh, working about the uh, influence of, of water vapors on the uh, preparation of such structures. In 18th it sh was shown that if you uh, use preliminary uh, preparation of the reactor for uh, experiments with alcohols or with water, you will have very different results. Uh, because, uh, the properties of ultra-high uh, water. Yes, uh, but uh, some uh, we uh, obtain some uh, we, 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 we for some samples we repeat experiments and obtain uh, it's very close data. But uh, usually we use uh, why we did not use uh, water because uh, water in uh, ultra high vacuum is not so good. Uh, uh, but but you have about twenty uh, layers on the surface of uh, your. Oh, 15, yes, 15, 20. So, and preliminary, you uh, go to prepare your structure, you need to uh, dry uh, from the uh, water. Ah, I, uh, maybe I did not, uh, when I said that uh, firstly we have, uh, in ultra high vacuum, we uh, clean the sample. How? Uh, for some sample, we use uh, high temperature annealing. About 120 degrees C. Heating and after them are cooling and yes, yes, yes. Unfortunately, I didn't. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Hi, you comment. I can say understand or explain how you comment the ferrum size one or two angstroms. I don't know the number of the pictures. The table. Was, uh, without these sizes. Ah, sizes. Uh, this, uh, ah, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's nanometers, nanometers. nanometers. Uh, it's isolated atoms, it's not uh, silicon phase. Ah, uh, no, no. Uh, I know, I, uh, we, uh, I understand. Uh, w w what about these uh, nanometers? Uh, how we uh, control the uh, quantity of silicon atoms. We use uh, um, mm, uh, uh, I forgot uh, forgot forgot uh, uh, we evaporate on uh, uh, quartz uh, uh, quartz resonator quartz resonator sensor yes we evaporate some portion of the Uh, of the our atoms, of the iron or silicon, and we control the portion uh, of this uh, quantity of atoms. 
And then we, uh, what mean 0.2 nanometers? It means that uh, if we have uh, uh, this uh, portion of the uh, iron, then the uh, height of this... Uh, it's monolayer. It's monolayer, yes. It's, some people will write monolayers, but nanometers, some another. And then the last question is, okay. I don't remember a number of slides, but uh, this is cross-section uh, of your quote, not another one. Uh, about about uh, cross-section, yeah, yeah. High resolution uh, image of cross section. Ah. Oh, high, resolu ah, high resolution, uh, this high resolution. The next one. I, I, I mean, quite. This uh, one is okay also. This one is so high. Uh, I just, uh, uh, this is uh, another point of view of question uh, regarding sample preparation. Mm -hmm. Because uh, as far as I understand, on the uh, above picture, you have oxide layer. Yes, of course, oxide layer. As far as you understand, uh, it's water, both uh, fluorescence, both electroluminescent properties. Uh, oxide, oxide, oxide layer, uh, how uh, depends oxide, uh, uh, how influence oxide layer on uh, properties? Yeah. Uh, I did not saw that uh, 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 it's for chromium iron layer. Yes, we prepare some mesostructure and we uh, for uh, electrical properties, investigate electrical properties, we evaporate uh, some uh, aluminium or uh, arum stibium and then так вжигать я уже забыл термин они 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 all this uh, uh, layer in, in silicon and then we have uh, normal ohmic contact between silicon and uh, aluminium with, 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 without, uh, without without oxide yes of course and uh, of course, uh, in, in, in the, we uh, we observe uh, photoluminescence or electroluminescence from this point, uh, th this point, and this point. It's metallical, and this round also metallical, and this uh, square it's uh, uh, silicon with oxide. Uh, as I remember, band gap of silicon oxide is very high about four or five electron volts, but uh, for silicon it's 1.12 electron volts, for iron disilicide 0.8 electron volts. And uh, yes, uh, uh, oxide it depends yeah, if we did not have no... Put this, put this picture. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> Silicon volume per electron resistance. But as we understand, the electron resistance is all only very, very thin layer with uh, metal contact. Yes, mm. but you show all volume as the mean sense volume. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I in my report I said about all work in our laboratory. Unfortunately, with uh, uh, I said unfortunately with iron disilicide and chromium silicide, it did not work. It's uh, data of my colleagues. Uh, about this, uh, you, uh, as I understand, you ask about what volume of uh, silicon part no. or not? No. What material have electron uh, we, we think uh, iron, 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 iron disilicide inside it's silicon. It's in there. Yes. The surface of the silicon. But why do you show all uh, volume of silicon as the resistance volume? Ah, uh, in, in, or you uh, take this uh, the layer and then produce. You, you you think about this? Ah, uh, you, you said this uh, by this or what? Uh, uh, it's uh, schematically. <laughs> schematically. <laughs> it's not my slide. Okay, so let's just speak once again. And, uh...